Hi everyone. We're going to wait just a couple more minutes um, till it's 7 o'clock make sure everyone is here. But I want to show you something. My daughter brought this acorn home today. One of her co-workers had them in her yard. Have you ever seen anything that big? It's like huge. I don't know. Can you see it? Look at how huge that thing is. I mean, it fits in the palm of my hand. I have never seen an acorn that big in my life. So anyway, I'm going to get her to uh, get her coworker to bring a few that she didn't glitter because they're really cool. They could be fun to craft with. Okay, so tonight I'm going to do a little more etching with etch all, and I'm going to attach a frame. Uh, we went on a cruise in January, my entire family. That's my mom and dad and my two sisters, her, um, my one sister's husband and my husband. So I'm going to attach that to the frame, or I mean to the glass block, and uh, make a gift for my mom tonight. What's up, Amanda? Okay, first thing I want to do is clean my glass block. So, I'll do that while we're waiting. And I'm just going to pour a little alcohol in here. And the other side, i got to get the sticker off. Oh, great. It's going to be one of those. One of those kind of stickers. We'll just use the undo. Have you guys heard of this stuff, undo? Oh, man. It is, like, fabulous. It is the best thing on earth. You squirt a little bit on, and it's got this scraper thing on the end. You can't find it in the stores. I had to order it online, but look at how nice this works. It just lifts it right up. The scraper, everything just takes it right up. I absolutely love this stuff. Angela turned me on to it when I couldn't get something apart because I used Goo Gone and it wouldn't work. And she said, oh, no, use this. Look at that. It just came right off. Love, love, love this stuff. Aw, that's no fun. I started taking um, a multivitamin because I get leg cramps really bad at night, and that's part of why I can't sleep. And um, so I bought this combination that has calcium, magnesium, and zinc in it. And I have not, knock on wood, have a cold all winter. And I think it's really, I really do think it's because I... I've been taking that zinc. Not telling you to take it, just telling you it was working for me. And everybody around me has been suffering with colds, so I've been lucky. Okay. This is going to be my last show until after Christmas. I'm going to go to my parents next week, so I won't be around. Um, but I do have a fun project for the week of, of New Year's. So if you guys are around, come on by. Let me get this cleaned up, too, because it's sticking to my glass block. Okay. All right, so the first thing I need to do is determine where I'm going to put my frame. And I, I don't want it on top. Angela put hers on the side and did it like this. And I don't want to do that. I want to attach it actually on the front. So what I did was I took the parts off the back, put tape on it, and I'm going to cover this with nice paper. And I want it kind of like that, I think. So, then the next thing I did was cut out a bunch of words for family, and I'm going to put love across the bottom, 
So I cut that out. So I've got my L. And this is just sticky vinyl. And then I've got my O. I want to get it on here straight. O. Oops, wrong one. And when we went on this cruise for my parents' um, 60th anniversary, and so my dad took all of the whole family, not the kids, just the his immediate family, you know, his kids. And uh, we had so much fun. We went to um, Belize and Roatan, which, oh my gosh, if you ever get the chance to go there, that I would move there in a heartbeat. It was so awesome. So, um, and then we also went to Cozumel. Had so much fun. Okay, then I've also got the words forever, um, together, family, parent, child, and I'm going to do kind of like subway art on here. So I think I'm going to put the together on first because that's kind of big. So I'm going to put that there. And then, oh, I hope it fits. And I cut it out of um, some different types of fonts so it would look more like subway art. Okay. Coldies does have zinc in it, yes. Yeah. I think the zinc is important, and I never used to take it until I got older. Of course, when you're young, you think you can lift your anything. I'm not young anymore, though. Okay. Oh, I didn't get that on straight. Where's my picker? Picker! Thank goodness my mother doesn't watch my shows. I'd like her to, but yeah, it's a good thing she doesn't. I don't want her to see this till we get there. She's so hard to buy for, and I could not figure out what to get. And I was asking for suggestions from everyone, and they gave up, came up with some really great ideas. But then I decided in the end that I was going to make her this instead. Okay, I'm going to have to lift all this up and move it over slightly, so I'm not over far enough. And then I can attach this from there. So, see, we'll go there. If you don't have one of these picker tools and you use etch all, you should get one. I'm telling you, I love etch all. I use it all the time. I'm sure you know that from a lot of my videos. And no, that's not all I do, but I do do a lot of it because I really love it. Thank you. Getting there. I really kind of, I, I do you guys like subway art? I found this place online that you can do it and print it out. Um, it's called Wordle. Oh my gosh, you can make some of the coolest subway art and then print it and frame it. I'll put a link up um, when I do the video on YouTube. I'll put the link underneath. That's not where I did this. Obviously, I did this on my Cricut, but. You can make some really, really cool subway art if you're into that.
Okay, so I've got the whoops together on there. Now I think I'm going to turn it this way and do the forever. Kind of I don't want it to be, you know, exactly since subway art is kinda, you know, all wonky. I'm gonna do it like that. So you can see I did different fonts, which is I think part of the fun of Subway Art. Although you can do it all in one font, I just think it's cool when it's different. Okay, that's on. And I think I'm going to do and do another one going this way. Um, I think I'm going to do parent right there. My frame is probably going to end up higher than I thought wanted it to by the time I'm done with this, but. Anyway, you get the general idea of where I wanted it. Come on now. Where's my picker again? There it is. Okay. that one on straight. Ah, I'm having trouble. These are so tiny. Let's try it this way. There we go. Okay, so that's us parent. And let's see. Got family and child left. I think I'll do family at an angle. Like this. Get a piece out of there. straight either. There we go. Now this is in cursive, so I'm going to try to do my best to attach it.
So are you guys all ready for Christmas? You got all your stuff bought? Wrapped? Under the tree? The little dot is missing. Let's see. I cut out some other ones. Here's one. Okay. One word left. We got child. So I think I'm going to put that at an angle here. Or maybe I should put it up here. Yeah, I think I'll put it up here at an angle this way. Get it on there and see how it looks anyway. There we go. Okay, that's going to run into that. So, I think maybe I'll just move this one down because I kind of like how that looks. M down a little bit. There we go. Okay, what do you think, guys? That leaves me a little room to put some decoration down here. 
my frame here and I can decorate the, around the top. Oh, well, I'm done shopping, but I haven't wrapped anything. You can come do mine, too. That's the worst part is the wrapping. Okay, so like we've talked about before, you want to make sure your edges are sealed. So I'm going to take my credit card, my old credit card, and go over all my edges, make sure they're really sealed down tight, especially on these little skinny ones because they come up so easily. And if you've watched any of my other shows where I've done this or my videos, you know that I'm going to turn it over and look here and see. And I can see a few places where it's not sealed down, so I'm going to use my finger and just push it down. That's the great thing about working on glass is you can see where you're, you know, you're not solid. Because if you leave it, then, um, and the stuff leaks underneath, then it's not crisp and clear, so. You could also do something like this and hand draw, you know, if you have nice writing. I don't happen to have very nice writing. So that's why I did it with the, uh, with the Cricut instead. Okay, so I've got it on there, and now I want to take my tape, and I'm just going to run it around the edge. I'll take my glasses off so I can see what the heck I'm doing, because I don't want it to seep down onto the sides at all. And this is just plain old painter's tape. You use the green kind or the blue kind, whatever you want. The other thing you could do, if you didn't care if the sides got etched, um, you could also um, do the dip and etch and immerse the whole thing. But I wanted my sides to be clear because I wanted to give off some really nice ambient light for her. So I'm going to frost both sides. And I'll do the second side off the air because that's just, you know, there's nothing to it. Um, and I'll have finished pictures when I'm done on the, on my page and, of course, on YouTube. I'm just going to get this around on all sides. Press it right against that top edge. Okay, so that is on there now. And I'm just going to take my etching cream, and this is the Etch All Etching Cream, okay? And I'm going to open it up, and I like a thick coat on because it just makes it clearer. So I'm going to just pour some on like that, kind of all over. And then I'm going to take my credit card, My remember, use an old one. And I'm just going to spread it all the way to my edges. Get down, Sam. My dog is wanting to say hi. He's sitting here begging for me to lift him up. 
one of my dogs. We have Samson and we have Delilah. Sam, Sam is what we call him, and he's a little dachshund. And then I have a um, lab, golden retriever, and pit bull mix, and that's Delilah. Okay, and I'm just making sure that it's all the way up to the edge, thick on all parts. And if it's not, I'm going to drag some over there, like right here. There, it's not real thick right on the edge. And then I can gently, very gently, drag it back down. Same over here. Need more over here. And just drag it gently. And that way you get a good, even coverage. And that's one of the reasons why I use so much, especially on big projects like this. But the great thing is it's reusable. So you just scrape it off and put it back in. Okay, guys, that's got to sit for 15 minutes. So while we're doing that, while that's working, I'm going to work on something else for the frame. Okay, so let me set that aside for a little bit. Now, because it's my mother, I reached deep in my stash. Angela gave me these beautiful flowers. I won them way back when I very first started following her, um, like almost a year ago. And I haven't touched them because I just think they're so pretty. But her living room has got pink and gold and blue in it. So I'm going to do the pink and the gold. So um, I have two of these big pink flowers. And then I did these gold flowers and what I did was I used the spray that I used in the other video that I mixed up and I got that recipe on the Bling Chronicles. I sprayed it first and it wasn't gold enough so I just took some Pearl X straight from the bottle, sprinkled it on and just kind of mushed it up because it was pretty wet from this so I did that and that should stay. Um, I may end up putting a little hairspray on just to you know be sure that it stays but I think it will. Okay and I'm going to move these out of the side. Okay, so I showed you the frame, and I showed you what I did to the back, so now I'm going to cover that with paper. And I figured this was kind of neutral enough. It kind of has the pinky gold in it. So I am going to trace this onto here. Woo! Yeah. I'm going to get it all over everything. There we go. Okay. my credit card out of the way. That's what's happening. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm just going to take it, and this side has um, a faded area because I've had this paper for a long, long time. So I'm going to avoid that and use this other corner. I'm just going to put it down here. And... Trace around it. Get a pen. Here we go. And then when I go to cut it, I'll cut it slightly smaller than the line. So. You could also do this on a cutter if you, you know, don't feel comfortable cutting by hand, but I think it's going to be fine. Bed. There's a couple of spots where I think I need to cut it just a little bit at the top there. Okay, let's see how that looks. There we go. Oh, no. A little tiny bit more.
there. Perfect. Okay. Now, I want to show you my other favorite thing in the whole wide world, and that's the Xyron Creative Sticker. If you do not have one, I'd like to get the bigger one. This is the Sticker Max. I also have the little one um, that just makes like, uh, what do you call it, like the little tiny two-inch ones. But I just, I'm telling you, this is the best stuff on earth. Okay, it crinkled a little, but that's okay. Just give it some character. And then you just peel off the back like that. And I'm going to pull those out, those lines a little bit. And by magic, you have a sticker that you can just stick right on. I'm telling you, that thing, I use it all the time. Okay, I didn't get it on perfectly straight, so I'm going to have to do a little trimming, but... I love that thing. Okay, so let me just trim off this little edge here. So it doesn't show through from the other side. There we go. Okay, and I think I'm just going to put a little trim around here just to uh, just to cover up those paper things. Let's see, what do I got? This might look cool. There we go. I like this one. What do you think? It's got the little flourish on it. Can you see that? I think that will look cool. And see, so I'm just going to put that right up against the edge like that. So for that, I'm going to use my glue gun. Got to plug it in if I can find it. There it is. You have the one and a half Korea sticker. Isn't it just the best, best, best thing? I'd like to get the giant one. I'm telling you, I would have one of every size because I used it so much. You've never worked on glass before? CRF, who, what's your name? Who are you? Do I know you? Well, I know there's a delay, so I'll wait for your answer. Okay, so the other thing I want to do, and i got to wait for that glue gun to heat up, is I want to turn these white leaves. Where did the rest of them go? They're there. My desk is a mess, by the way. I've been working like crazy. I want to turn these white leaves green. So I'm going to get, let's see, I'll just use this box top and put them in here. You can get green leaves. Um, I happen to have gotten these with the with the flowers from Angela, and they're white. And it's kind of cool because you can change them any color if you want to. So this is again my homemade glamour mist. If you need the recipe, go to the Bling Chronicles. And you can also make these. The other good thing about these is that you can get the the saturation however you want. It doesn't have to be super dark. And it doesn't have to be, you know, solid. You can have, like, little bits of the white showing through still a little. So I think I kind of like that. I think that's going to be fine, just like that. A couple, maybe I'll make two dark ones and leave the rest. One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I had seven. Oh, well, whatever. I'll figure it out later. Okay. So those I'm going to set those aside to dry. Still waiting for CRF to tell me who she is. Hi, Lori. Glad to see you. 
Okay, these are still wet, so I'm going to go ahead and dry those. What do you guys do for New Year? You stay at home or do you go out? Okay, those are dry, so I'm going to set them aside. My glue gun is hot, so let's put this on. I want it right up against the edge to hide those uneven edges for the paper. So, oh, that didn't stick. I'll try that again. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do the other side here now. There we go. And I'm going to cut this off. And I'm not going to worry about it being perfect because I can even that off when I'm done. And actually, I think I'm going to do this side first. So you scrapbook the New Year's in? Do you um do you go to one of those uh, New Year's Eve shows like um, Laura Dennison or one of those? Hi Shirley, good to see you. I was thinking it would be fun to do um, a New Year's project thing with everybody in our group, you know, um, Itza and Nikki and everybody, and um, celebrate it across the world because she's over there, and everybody do like two hours and start in the afternoon. Would you guys come to something like that if we did it? Hey, Jim. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Good. Where is that? Picture. Just covering up the back a little bit. My daughter is here. She's asking questions.
Eh, I'm not done. Stayed home and scrapped by yourself. Well, that's no fun. Well, maybe it was fun. I don't know. Sometimes being by yourself is more fun than anything else. But would you guys come if we did something like that? Yeah, you would? i got to talk to Angela. I just came up with the idea today, and I thought, you know, that might be fun. I don't know what she's doing but or anybody else on the team, but it was just a thought. Okay, so I got the trim on, so it's not so rough looking. I'm going to clean up my edges. Looks pretty good. Okay, so now the back of my frame has paper and some trim so it doesn't look quite so plain from the back side. Alright, let me check on the time here and see how we're doing. Yeah, I don't scrap. I don't... I'm really bad about it. I'm bad about taking pictures even. Okay, we have about five minutes left. So... Maybe I should just put some Christmas music on, or do you want to hear me chat? I could introduce you to my doggies. Nina, or, ooh, that was bad. That was really bad. Sam, Delilah. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, yeah, okay. Come here. Oh, yeah, I know. You're so heavy. Come here, baby. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Get up here. Say hi. Say hi. This is Delilah, and she's not liking being on my lap. She's huge. She's like almost 70 pounds. Okay, Jennifer's not going to let me show you Sam, apparently. Sam. Sam. Come here, Sam. Come here, Sam. Come here, Sammy. Come here. Come here. <laughs> this one's a little bit easier to handle. He's little. This is my Sam. Say hi, Sam. Say hi. hi. There's my Sam. We have to leave him with Jennifer and Ryan when we move, and it's sad. He's really David, my son's dog. So we're leaving him here so he can come and visit him. Anyway, that's my baby Sam. Okay. All right. It looks like we're getting close to the time now, so I'm going to move all this out of the way again. So we can scrape this off, get this open. Okay, again, I've used the etching cream from Etch All. And I'm just going to, I like using a credit card. They give you, you can get a squeegee with the stuff, but I really like a credit card. It just, it's got a finer edge to it and it works nice. Although I did the wrong side. Let's see. Nice this off. Works better if you use the flat side than the numbered side. Okay, there we go. Just scoop it up and be careful and put it back in because it's reusable. This thing, this bottle is going to last me a long time. I've done so many projects with this, but I'm loving it. Okay, a little bit more. And just try to get as much off as you can. 
because that gives you the best value for your money. And I'm just putting it right back in the jar to be used on the next project. So be careful because some of my letters are coming off. So I think I'm going to, going to leave this last little bit because I don't want those to frost. So I will be right back. I'm going to go wash this off. Sorry about that. I took off in kind of a hurry because I didn't want those letters to frost where they were coming off. And it worked. Okay, so I got the majority of the stuff back in the bottle, though. So let me clean up my mess here. Oh, that happened to me a whole bunch of times, Shirley. Sometimes you got to um, uh, log out completely and log back in, even close that part of your browser. But it used to happen to me all the time when I would watch shows. I'm just wiping my edges of my thing off so that it doesn't get all crusty and stick. I wasn't the most careful when I put it back in the jar. Okay, so, and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to etch the back side too, but I will do that off the air. All right, so I've got my letters on here, and luckily it did not frost where... I had where the letters started coming off. That's the problem when you use really thin ones like this, is that you do take that risk. So I'm just going to clean these off. Because when you're scraping, it'll scrape the edges of those letters. Even though you got it sealed down tight, it still sometimes does that. It's kind of annoying. But um, that's not Etchell's fault, it's the vinyl. And I am using Cricut vinyl, and I don't like it at all. I would recommend, if you're going to do it, to get your um, your stuff right from Etchell. They have a better quality, but I'm out. Um, they also have this stuff that I've been seeing, and I haven't tried it yet, but where you can make one stencil, it's like a mask. They call it something mask. and you can reuse the same stencil over and over. And since I'm doing all those bases, um, I did the one, but I haven't done the other 11 yet. And I think I'm going to get some of that mask stuff and give it a try. 
because it sure would be easier than having to stick it on over and over and try to get it exactly the same and you know that's how professionals do it is they use this mask stuff so all right let me clean that up with some alcohol now Well, I don't know, but you're chatting. It's showing up. Okay, when I washed it, I did get it wet inside, so it's going to be, um, you're going to see the wet marks through it, but anyway, let this dry. You find something dark to put underneath it. There it is. I need to get a black um, piece of fabric. Okay, so can you see that? It's, uh, the water's kind of making it harder to see, but it turned over this way. But it says, the love is here. Here, let me turn it this way. The love is here, and then it says, parent family, child together. I'll get it a little closer. Can you see that? So I know it's kind of hard because it glares in the camera, but anyway, so that's kind of a subway art kind of thing. So let's move on and attach our frame, I think should be the next part. Now, I don't want this to come off, so I'm going to use E6000 and I'm going to use um, the glue gun. Ooh, my E6000 had popped a leak. It popped a leak. I hope I, I hope it still works. I don't know how many of you have used this, but I'm, I love this stuff. This is like fabuloso. And I'm just going to put it on here rather than on the frame so it gets where I want it. It definitely popped a leak and getting all over my hands. Stick some more on there. So I guess I'm going to have to buy a new tube of that. But that's okay. It's not very expensive and I really love it. Okay, let me get that glue off my fingers. Okay, now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just go kind of around it. So that I can get it on quickly and make it stay and then it can dry from there. Okay, I think that's going to work. So let me get that on there real quick before that dries. Okay, and I'm just going to push it on and I'm using my knuckles because my fingers have glue on it. I did make sure when I did this, I took the um, glass out and cleaned it really good because once it's on here, it's permanent. She's not going to be able to clean the inside of the glass. So I cleaned it really good. And I'll shine it up and stuff before I give it to her. But Okay, so this is what we have so far. What do you think? Duct tape? Come on, Shirley. <laughs> Okay, so with that on, oh, I don't think I got it on perfectly straight either. Nope, I sure didn't. Let's see if I can get that straighter. There we go. Let's stick some more glue in here real quick. The great thing about the E6000 is it gives you the room to move, but... There we go. That's better. Okay, that's on there nice and straight now. And of course the E6000 will have to dry. But I'm going to lift it up and I think 
Kind of a peachy pink. Looking for some ribbon that I might like, guys. Give me two seconds. Oh, let's see. might be kind of cool since it's all about family and love. I have this um, this pink ribbon that has like hearts on it. I'll give it open. You can tell me what you think. Oops. What do you think? Is that too valentiney? No, oh, it's not really wide enough either. That could go in the middle though. See if I have something I can put behind it. Let's see. Gold. I don't have any. Ooh, I know. I know, I know, I know. What did I do with that here? I used this the other night on my tree skirt, but this would look kind of cool. Yep, and that would fit in there pretty good, too. Okay, I'm going to do that. Get the, the pink in. Alright, for right now, I'm just going to measure because I don't really know how much I need. Okay, so I need to cut it right there. Here's the thing. I can't cover up this area right here because that's how I'm going to get the lights in. So, boy, I'm having trouble because this is all wet. It really got a lot of water in there because I was in a hurry to wash it. So I went then to careful. So what I have to do is start my ribbon, and I'll probably end up with extra because of this, but I'm going to start my ribbon turn it around on the edge of that. Can you see that? Like that. See, there's the hole. And I'm going to start it on the edge of the hole. So. Okay. Get that glued and started there. And then I'm just going to take it and wrap it around. I'm not going to put any glue up here because I think it's going to hold okay without it. And it's kind of bunching, but I kind of like that. Okay, glue right here again on the other side. Pulling tight, I'm pulling it really tight so it'll stay on without having to glue at the top there. Okay, I'm gonna give that a minute to set. And now I'm gonna cut it off. No one's gonna see the bottom really anyway. So. But I think I'm too close to that hole. Okay, so now I have my ribbon around the top here on both sides. I'm just going to smooth it down a little bit. So it looks like that. Okay, now I'm going to figure out how I want to do my, 
And I think I want them like at the top, kind of off to an angle, maybe right there. Let's see. Maybe I want this one over here because it'll. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stick this on here like this, and I don't want it to lay down, so I'm kind of laying it against my frame. And I may end up sticking something behind it to hold it up, some kind of a bobble or something. I don't know. We'll see. And then I'm going to put this one. Like right here, I think. Oops. <laughs> Helps if you glue the right side. Okay. Now I'm going to put these gold ones in. Cut a little bit of my... stuff off here, but netting stuff that it comes on. I don't like it when it's showing very much. So. Okay. And I want a bow, so I'm going to make a bow out of this. If you have a bow at all, which I do, but I don't use it put up right now. Um, so I'm going to show you the easy way. Just because I'm not going to, um, not going to have tails hanging down. So I'm just going to go like this a couple of times, back and forth, and get it the length that I want. And I think this is going to help that one stand up too. So I want it slightly longer. And this is wired ribbon, so it does make it a lot easier. Okay, that looks pretty even. Okay, I think I'm just going to do the two loops. So. Okay, and then I've got this tail that was from the piece that I just cut off. So I am just going to pull that around what and I'm going to scrunch what Jen? you just bring home oh no I'll just make mine later Jen thank you though okay so my point is do you want me to save some of that tan cheese for you no I don't care about that okay. Okay. sorry Okay, so I scrunched it up a little bit, and now I'm going to wrap it around. And you can make adjustments after you, you know, do whatever. But scrunch the middle part, wrap it around, wrap it around, and there you got an easy bow. Simple. And then you just fluff it out afterwards. Okay. Now, because it's wired, I've got, you know, room to breathe here. So I'm going to glue this one side down first. While it's scrunched, and then I can cut off the excess so I don't get such a bulky thing in the back. Okay, and now I'm scrunching again, make sure it stays scrunched. And I'm going to, I'm going to cut a little of that off first because it's too long. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to, see if you can see this, I'm going to tuck this end over and then glue it so you get a nice smooth thing in the back. Here, I'll show you after I get it glued and you can, you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, see I just folded it over so it doesn't look so bulky. There's some glue on there, but I can pick that up. But then you don't have that raw piece showing. Okay, so now I'm just going to fluff it out. I'm just going to bend it however I want it. Oh, duct tape for the glue. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, Shirley. I'll have to try that and see if it holds. Mm. 
Okay, so there I've got kind of a, you know, fluffed up bow. And I'm going to put that up here like this, I think. And that will help hold that flower up, too. So, glue that in place. Ooh, Ellie, that's hot. Okay, there we go. And then I can just kind of play with the bow and get it to hold up these flowers. So that's what we got so far. And I'm going to take one more flower up here. Maybe two. We'll see. Probably only one, though. I know you're supposed to do odd numbers, but, yeah, I don't always go with the trend. I kind of sometimes buck it. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I think this one needs to come up a little bit, though. There. Tuck the pink one behind it. There. Okay, so what do you think so far? That's what it looks like so far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got kicked out or whatever, but it does do that. Okay, now, uh, my leaves should be dry enough by now, yep. So I've got these leaves. Let's put this over to the side. And I'm going to hold them up for you so you can see I got the different varying degrees by how much spray I added. So you can, can you see that? I've got one that's really dark and one that's kind of medium and then one that's almost a whitish. But there's a little bit of green in it. And now I'm going to tuck those in. And I don't think I want these my wire cutters. These long stemmy parts on. Cause so let me tuck those in. Stick one in here. And I don't know how many I'm going to need, so I just made a bunch. Yeah, I don't like that one there. There we go. I'll put that one there. Oops. And put it behind this. Like that. There we go. Oh, my stick now. Come on. Stick it in my finger instead of the project. randomly sticking them in so you can see there and I've got three in so far I think I'm going to do one or two more maybe I'll do the odd thing on that I'm going to put one down here yeah it needs one more to look right I got glue everywhere. Okay, let me show you again. Here's what we got. Can you see that? That light is really glaring. Let me see if I can move it a little bit. There we go. Can you see that now? So it's kind of standing up, but, you know, not entirely. And now I think it needs a little something down in this corner right here. What do you think? So I think I'm going to use this final leaf and this final 
gold flower that I have, but this one has a lot of knitting on, so I'm going to cut that off. I love these fabric flowers, and I may probably on this bottom one, I'll probably put a jewel in it because I didn't on the top ones because the other two flowers had embellishments, but I'm thinking this is going to need a pearl in the center to tie it together. Okay. The netting is cut off. I lay this down here so you can see. And I'm going to pop this on the corner at the bottom. Right there. There we go. And then I'm going to put a leaf going. I don't know which way yet. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that light. Well, no, because that'll bend when she puts it on the table. What do you think? There? Does that look funny with this other one sticking out here? Ooh, I hope she does. I hope she loves it. It really meant a lot to them for us all to be on that cruise together. So I'm hoping that she's really going to love this. Because she's, you know... 79, she's 79 years old. She doesn't need anything. She always just tell, always tells us, don't buy me anything. And truly, if she wants something, she goes and buys it. So she is so hard to shop for. So when I thought of this today and the cruise pictures, because I was looking at the pictures, I just thought, you know, that would be awesome. All right, help me decide, guys. Should I put the leaf maybe up like that or off to the side? I don't know if it's going to work on the bottom. That's where I like it the best, but I'm afraid it's going to get lost when it's sitting on the table. What do you think? You let me know while I'm waiting for your answers. I'm going to grab some a pearl thing for the center. Let's see. Maybe I'll do a combination. What did she use on that? She just used straight pearls. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. What do you think? Is that too much? Maybe just a plain pearl would be better. Ooh, I could do a pink pearl. That would uh, tie the tops together. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, still waiting for answers. What do you think on this leaf? I'm going to stick this glue in the middle here. Glue this pearl in. I decided to go with pink, the pink pearl, because it will tie it in with the top. There we go. Okay, position one, position two. Position three. Which one? At the top here or here, though? Like this at an angle? I don't really like it straight up and down. So at the top right there? Okay. That's where I'm going to put it then. There we go. And these leaves can be bent, too, so I can shape them kind of how I want them.
Give him a little character. Can't have, you know, just plain old nothing. Not in this house. All right, I think she's done. Let me turn it around. Turn this light just a little so you can see. And there we have a lovely subway art for the family that says together, child, family, forever, parent, and love. And then our picture and then the embellishments. And once I stick lights inside, then she'll have that nice ambient light going around it. So what do you think, guys? Let me lay it on this uh, cloth, and it'll be easier to see. What do you think? See, you could do this. Get yourself some etch -all. If you don't have it, I'm telling you, it's awesome. All right, ladies, that was my project for tonight. I do have a really cool project planned for um, the Tuesday. Well, that would be New Year's Eve is Tuesday. So maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it the Thursday after Christmas. I don't know. We'll see. But I want you guys to do it for New Year's. So I wanna, I'm want i going to work this in somehow. So um, I'll post when I do it. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. It's always nice to have you guys here. And um, I'm going to talk to Angela about doing that New Year's Eve thing. So we'll let you all know. I won't probably talk to you again. So have a very Merry Christmas, ladies. Um, Angela Holt's group really appreciates all the support we get. You guys are just fantastic. All right. If we can do anything specific, you have a request for any kind of project, let us know. We'll be happy to work on it and see what we can come up with for you. All right. That's it. Merry Christmas and love to you all. Enjoy your families.